Lasher Park. Tuesday afternoon baseball for you on America East TV. The Riverhawks come in, winners of five of their last six. They are hosting all the way up from Rhode Island, Steve Brown, Barry Gaff. Chopper to third. The runner's going to come home to throw to first and then time this one down. Out to the plate accordingly, although a little shallow on right. This one's cracked into left field, heading back towards the wall. Back looking over his shoulder is Delano, and that ball is gone. A free run home run for Chris Sharp. The Riverhawks retake the lead in the bottom of the first. Well, that ball was an absolute bomb. I believe it cleared the scoreboard in the air. And that's as good as you can get in the first inning trying to get back into a game when you have an early deficit. Sharp absolutely cranked that one. The seventh home run of the season, Arby. This one's hit hard into the left center field. Gap falling pass. It'll get down. They're going to send the runner from second on his way home without a throw. 4 1 Riverhawks. RBI for Cam Climo. Kobe Mayola coming around to score. In right field. This one looks like it'll hang up. Quickly on the fight. As the sun comes a couple steps in, makes the catch. The runner's back in here to the floor of the plate. It's cut off by Steve Pass. And then we'll the runner. Third, it's going to be a double play. A strikeout there from Young in right field. 3 2 again. And Rigo's going to go down looking. He's directly out of field on the ground. There's one on the ground through the right side. It's a base hit for Oscar Marchena. And the run will come home to tie the game at five. Stay in a tie game. They feel pretty good about themselves. That one's drilled down the left field line, though. And it's off the foul pole, I believe. A home run, three run shot for Steve Passatempo. And just like that, the Riverhawks take an eight to five lead. Or seven to five lead, two run home run. They just threw the runner out stealing, so don't want to get everybody too excited. It's still a big home run, and still a two run lead for the Riverhawks. In the left field, hit hard, coming over is Mayola. That ball's going to fall fair and one off the wall over Mayola. Rounding third and heading for the plate comes Frigo. The relay throw coming in, not in time. Brown takes the 8-7 lead on the RBI double from Josh Huntley. Here comes the throw home. Oh, it's a great it's a throw. He got him. So the first run of the game is eliminated on a heck of a throw from Michael Young there. It took all the important stuff. One and two, ground ball to short. This should score a run. And I said should because last time I said it will. It did not, but it does. It's an RBI ground out for Marchene. Two. He drops a breaking ball in there on Grigo. Second time this inning. Osmond deals. Another curveball. It's grounded inside the third base line. And it's going to get into the corner and score two runs. Sharp will head into second base. It's a stand up RBI double for the Riverhawk center fielder. Chris Sharp has given UMass Lowell a 3 0 lead. Does just that. The ball's in the right field. Coming over is Michael Young now coming in. But lays out. And he makes the catch. Michael Young continues to have a fantastic day. Sets with the letters. Kicks and deals. He struck him out. Got him looking. The Riverhawks retire the side with the bases loaded. Nope. Very efficient this inning. He's thrown just one ball. He struck out two hitters. Working quickly. Kicks and deals here. Chopper back down the middle. Prada has it. Off balance. Throw to first. In time, he got him. And that is your ball game. The Riverhawks grab game two of the doubleheader. By a score of three to nothing, they split it with Brown. And